It's weird, but some people still use smartphones to talk to others. Like the phone is ringing and they answer it without anxiety. In this case, you see who's calling without picking up the phone. You don't even have to open it. Oh, hello. This is the new Z Flip 3 5G. How many videos of one phone can people upload to YouTube at the same time? I know, right? That's why today I'm uploading two. The other one is a short though, so I don't even know if it counts. But for this one, you can just close the lid and the conversation ends. And you can answer the phone just by unfolding it. Like in the good old days. Hello, goodbye. It's still hard to do it single-handedly. Today I'm comparing this to the previous Z Flip, which, which looks like a toy now. And as usual, this video is not sponsored by Samsung nor consulted with the company in any way. In other words, I'm gonna tell you what I really think about this little... For the last couple of days, I treated it like a pocket watch. I decided that the always on display clock is gonna be always on. It doesn't make the battery last longer, quite the opposite, but I like it. And it's customizable. But it's not only for the looks. You can browse through your notifications. There are different widgets you can add to that screen. There aren't too many for now, but I'm hoping to see more in the future. You can open the camera without unfolding the phone. And you can switch between lenses for photo and video modes. I would love to have the option to open Instagram's camera here. You know, just to shoot stories without even unfolding the phone. Unfortunately, that's not possible for now and probably not in the future either. After using it closed most of the time, I noticed that it's probably better suited for left-handed users, especially using the camera. Using your right hand, you will sooner or later see your palm in the frame. I got used to it, though I would probably prefer to have the camera on the left side. But on the other hand, the other-handed people get to be privileged for once. And you can use this screen to show other people how they look in the photo before you snap it. It kinda works. Kinda. Is the screen tougher than in the previous flip? I don't know, but it seems to be. It has an extra protective layer and it just feels more durable. And the refresh rate goes up to 120 Hz. The bezels are smaller, the overall design is much cleaner. And it's a very slim phone when unfolded. And it has stereo speakers, which sound pretty good. This has only one speaker. It still sounds okay. But this sounds better. And it can be used as a wireless power bank or a wireless charging pad, if you will. Cameras. I will not be comparing them to the previous Z Flip's cameras because it's obvious that they perform better. And for those two, maybe three, including me, previous Z Flip's owners who are wondering if they should upgrade to the new one, maybe wait until the screen breaks, my educated guess is it'll happen sooner than you think. I mean, foldable screens are great. I love scrolling through Instagram in this semi-folded position. But we still don't know if these screens are durable enough. And it's not only the matter of scratch resistance. It's the fact that if it breaks sometime in the future, and it's not your fault, you would send it back to Samsung and they might look at it and say, oh, so it's broken. But it's your fault because you were too rough on it. We can replace it or repair it for you for the price of your kidney. I'm totally exaggerating. But you have to take that into account if you think about buying this phone and using it long term. On the flip side, when the phone is folded, the screen is protected. No drop test today, it's borrowed. But only by looking at it and feeling it. I predict that it's gonna scratch, definitely but probably not break in the nearest future. Okay, back to the cameras. 
Let's see how the flip stands up to the Samsung's photo video GOAT, S21 Ultra 5G. Let me start with the selfie cameras first. The flip's camera seem to have a wider angle and the colors are different. And for the quality, you be the judge. It's 4K 60 frames on both phones. Zoom. The S21 Ultra 5G has a great zoom and the flip has only two main cameras, so the winner here is obvious. Get this party started. I got the music playing loud. How you like my outfit? I have to say I'm kinda proud. I got my dancing shoes on and I'm feeling dangerous. Let's get this party started. Yeah, we gon' be adventurous. We went to the club like we always do. This girl caught my eye, said, how do you do? She said, I am not interested, thank you. Then she left the room. Bartender. I'll have the usual, give me the usual. I'll take the usual. There is almost nothing in the box but the phone. There are some papers and this cable. The flip's hinge is more precise than its predecessors, giving the phone more stability in different angles. In some apps, and likely more to come, when you fold the phone, the lower part of the screen becomes a control panel. It's cool, but it's a software thing. Hardware-wise, this phone is so much better than the previous one, and I think it looks great. And the price? I guess no one thinks, oh, a new foldable from Samsung, it's gonna be cheap. It's not. And the cameras are not from a flagship. If you want better cameras, buy the tablet and pay double. Seriously, though. This was an experiment. Then they released the 5G version, but it was basically the same. And I bought it the first day they started to sell it, and I shelved it after three months. Because the apps were not well optimized for this screen and using it on a daily basis was often inconvenient. This one is a safe but very impressive evolution and it's not an experiment anymore. Once again, let me remind you that in order to make this platform more overwhelming, in my opinion, it's not overwhelming enough, I decided to upload more two videos at the same time. The second one is about this phone, Z Fold 3. Yeah, but it's a short, literally one minute long video. No need to get that excited about it. Which has a camera under the screen, which doesn't make much sense. Or does it? Go and check it out. And if you did already, thank you. And hope to see you soon.